Today, I will be showing you how to create an order table in FlexSim and copy the order characteristics to the tokens. One of the things you will always need when simulating a logistical picking process is orders and their relevant characteristics. There are several ways to do this. Uh, roughly, these are using the model or using the process flow. In most cases, I prefer to use the process flow so that I'm in full control of what orders and variations are created. Plus, I have the option to import uh, any additional data if I want to. So let's get started. I've already pre-created uh, a global table, which I've done via the toolbox and then add a global table, which you are seeing over here. I've called it order table and it has five rows, each of them representing a unique order ID. And it has several columns, which represents the characteristics of the orders that are relevant for the rest of my simulation. Those characteristics are the ones I want to copy to my token as labels. So what I've done is I've set up a very simple process flow. I've started out with a source, just a normal scheduled source, offset time zero, nothing fancy. And next step is I want to create tokens. So what you can do here is you can simply say, well, I have five orders, so I want to create five tokens. So you just fill out five here with quantity. Um, but in reality, uh, often it's the case that you don't really know upfront how many orders you will be receiving. It can vary per, per day, per case. So I've created instead a um, little custom code, which you're seeing over here. So these are the standard fields that are already added in the custom code. And I've added a short query, a SQL query, where it selects the count of the order IDs. So the order IDs you see over here, uh, like I mentioned, and they're unique and we have five of them from the reference table called order table. And I would like to return that value. So it should return five because I have five order IDs in my table. I will clear the tokens now and I will run it in a moment. What I've also done here with the create token step is that I've added a label called reference number and the value of that label is the creation rank. So each individual token will receive a reference number label with a value, the rank they're created in. This means that the first token that is created will get a rank, will get number one, a second one, number two, and so on. And uh, this is an important aspect because it will, um, it will be needed for the logic that follows in the assigned label steps, which is the next step. Uh, by the way, I've, um, connected it to um, the next step by um, uh, sample, sampling the assign labels uh, step, which will create the blue line between create tokens and assign labels. So next step, assigning the labels. I'm assigning the labels to the token that is created or to the five tokens that should be created um, to be precise. And I am creating as many labels as I have columns in the uh, 
global order table. You don't have to, you can just create the labels that you want to create. I've also named them exactly the same as um, they're named in the global table. Also, that's optional, but um, I find it to be pretty clear that way. So for example, first label is the truck number, which is my first column in my uh, order table. And the value that I'm giving it is I'm using a global table lookup, which you can find under table and then by global table lookup. It will ask which table you're referencing to. It is the order table in this case. And then it wants to know which row it should give the return the value. And that row uh, is not um, is, is different per token. So for the first token, we want to um, reference uh, row one, second token, row two, and so on. So that's why I've created the reference number. So it will um, refer to uh, the value of the reference number. So the first token will um, look at the at row number uh, one, second, uh, row number two, and so on. The column that it, it is referencing to, um, because I want to return the value of the truck number, um, which is my first column, so this is column one. So this is what I've set up for each each label, each column um, um, in the assigned labels activity. You can assign as many labels as you want, I think. I, I'm not sure if there is a limit um, by simply just adding the, the plus sign. Um, and after that, it just runs to, uh, to a final step. So let me demonstrate it to you. So first step is the source, create tokens. Like we said, we want to have five tokens created based on the fact that we have five order IDs. And so it does. Um, it assigns uh, the label, so five tokens. And each of these tokens have a reference number, which is one, two, three, four, five and the different values of um, the columns in the global table from that row. And so row number, so reference number three will have the values from row number three. Uh, so it has truck number two, customer type one, small item quantity one, and so on. And it has order ID 1003. So that's how you create tokens with the characteristics of your orders.